Hi, here's Ahmed Nasser. Uh, this tutorial we want to talk about DES uh, in Java. How to make a symbol DES. Uh, we gotta use a, a base 64 decoder and encoder. And uh, we gotta import uh, many libraries. Uh, the crypto from Java X and uh, we just created a class uh, we imported uh, Java X crypto cipher the secret key and the secret key factory and we got additional library which is uh, the SPEC the spec dot DS key spec so we gotta use this in order to generate the key for the cipher DES. Uh, we import uh, two decoders, 64 uh, base, uh, 64 decoder encoder. We create a class. Uh, we define a secret key because we import it here. We just define a secret key called the uh, key, and we just define a, a string value called the key, which is take. Uh, its value from outside the class uh, okay so here we got an empty constructor in order to call the object uh, we made it public and uh, we got two methods uh, three main methods the first one is generate the key and the other one is for encryption it take a message and return a message encrypted message other method is called decrypt it also take a message and return a string as a message and finally we got a main uh, so in the, in the in the main method let me just move this okay in the main in the main method here we just define a message I just want to de decrypt this message encrypt and decrypt this message uh, define two uh, value uh, decrypt and encrypt the string here we just call the object uh, we just set the key to be uh, this value uh, so we call ds the uh, the key so we just set the value of the key and after that we just put a uh, surround uh, all the stuff the encryption decryption with a try catch statement uh, okay so the first step we do uh, when calling the DS, we just call the method called generate key. This method will uh, take the value of the key and make a secret key for the DS. After that, we just print out the message, and after that, we decrypt encrypt the message. So we just call the encrypt method. Uh, we give it the message, and we encrypt it okay to make sure everything work we take the encrypted message and put it into the decryptor or the decrypt method and we just take that back to the decrypted so we bring it out on the screen the encrypted uh, value and also the decrypted value and also the original one so if you want to see uh, the results uh, we have uh, a message he here uh, okay uh, we just decrypt encrypted this message to the following string so we take this and put it back into the decryptor we get the value and the message again so this is the decrypted message okay okay so let me just move back to the three methods in the DS class uh, the first one is generate key we define uh, the DS key spec which is a, a new uh, which is take a, a, a byte array so we just bought an, a byte array inside the DES key spec okay so um, uh, this class is used in the factory so uh, we use this with the factory in order to get the key generator so here we, we have secret key factory we define a secret key factory key factory equal secret factory to get instance the instance that we are care about here is DES okay so we care about DES and here uh, we just assign the the value the this key spec into the key factory so we put key factory to generate secret 
so we get a really uh, reserved method in the key factory that responsible for generating secret keys uh, which is called the generate secret so we give it the the disk key spec and after that it automatically will generate the secret key from the disk key spec and after applying the factory design pattern here okay so this is the basic method uh, we just call it first and after that we just call the encrypt and after that we call the decrypt okay what but about encryption and decryption we just call the encrypt method we give it the string uh, we define a cipher and this cipher we just say get instance so notice that he all the ciphers uh, that we talking about including the secret factory or the key factory here we just give the instance to be DES so cipher uh, cipher equals cipher the git instance we call the DES okay and after that we initialize the cipher uh, with the encryption with the encrypting mode so and we just give it the key and the key is already reserve its value from generate key here so we just give it the key to the cipher in it or initializer and after this uh, we take the message the plain text we take the plain text and convert this plain text into a string byte array and after that we just take this string byte array and uh, encrypt using the cipher we encrypt this using the cipher and convert this into a row of bytes so we do that by using cipher uh, dot do final for the string bytes which is used a UTF-8 after this we move the row or the encrypted uh, plain text or encrypted UTF text into uh, an encoder, a base 64 encoder so see here we just uh, import some misc and base 64 encoder and decoder uh, okay so we just call this uh, we make a new object of base 64 encoder call it encoder and just after that we save this into a string called base 64 so in order to uh, encode this message uh, to convert it to 64 for easier display we just say encoder dot encode the row which is the encrypted cipher text so after execution this code we just got this value so this is for uh, the encryption but what about decryption decryption the same thing we receive a string and we return a string and we throw an exception here the same here so there's many exceptions if you want to see how many exceptions that uh, you might face no such algorithm uh, invalid exception no such there's many exceptions but instead of that just just put the general exception and that that's enough uh, okay we get get the string encrypted and here we just the same process we make other cipher and we just get the DS you can just I put two ciphers here but you can put these two cipher to be one uh, one singleton class because we don't really need uh, many ciphers but anyway uh, here we see the cipher we initialize the cipher uh, we call the init method and this init method gonna take the cipher mode uh, the mode that we're talking about is decrypt mode we were talking about encrypt mode and it's the same thing the key the same key obtained from the generated key uh, after this we just flip around the encoder in the inverse uh, operation just we decode and after that we get the message so here we just encode and after encoding we get the message uh, okay and but here we need to, to reverse the stuff we need to decode in order to get the the message into uh, a readable format so here 
we just define an encoder and say encoder equal new base 64 decoder and uh, we just define a part row decoder the decode uh, decode buffer we use the code buffer here here we just use encode and we say here uh, you know encode here we just decode buffer we decode the buffer here and after we decode the buffer for the encrypted uh, value that we take in here we just put that value to a byte array and after taking that from byte array we just take all that in, uh, into uh, a byte string bytes and uh, we say that cipher the do final we just decode the message after convert this to the to the base 64 format and get this uh, from the decoded buffer into a pytro uh, we just convert the pytro into a py of string pytes which is has include the original message okay cipher the do final for the row and after we uh, make this call this method and save it into the string bytes we just call a new a new a new uh, string and make a new string and this string we assign it to a new string bytes with a utf8 format okay if you want to use adf other adf format 16 you you should change this to 16 or something but here just we want to stick with a uh, systematic way we use the UTF-8 and after we save this new string, new generated string from bytes uh, we just save this string into a clear and we return clear, clear. so that's why you, you, you can see here when we uh, run the code so we get all the stuff, so you can change the key uh, everything gonna change okay uh, there's one one last thing I want to mention here about the key generator uh, you know if you wanna you know this is I just provide uh, the algorithm with a key so I put the key to be uh, my name here but you can use other method which is uh, um, you know much suitable if you don't want to specify the key or you don't want to change the key uh, this automatically generate the key so you you just define a, a, a key generator and after you define a key generator you just get instance for the DS the same thing instead of using the factory you just use key generator and after you use the key generator you see new secure random you just define new secure random so we're talking about secure random not random and after that you just because okay you need to uh, import secure random you need to import key and you need to import key generator from crypto java x and this is from security in java but anyway so after you do that you just say the key which is from type uh, security key we didn't talk about uh, here we're talking about sec uh, secret key but here we, d we, we, we are talking about security dot key it's another type used with key generator so with key generator we just get that and uh, we just assign the key generator the, the, the generate key we assign the value to the key that we have okay here we just we use the key factory and generate secret okay here we just generate the key so there's two different techniques uh, I don't want to go in depth with that, I just want to show you uh, this great method. Uh, these are the main libraries, these are uh, all the, the the method, three method, three main methods that you need. How to convert from UTF to bytes and vice versa. Uh, it's uh, great code. Okay guys, thank you for, for watching. And uh, uh, it's been a long time that I didn't program in Java but anyway so uh, okay guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to 07 at YouTube uh, Ahmad Nasser again with you see you in the next video thank you